Welcome to Aero Channel, and welcome back to Drawing Series. In this lecture, we are gonna show how to work with angular dimensions. So let's go here to Smart Dimension, and let's put here angular dimension of this line. So we wanna define an angle between this line and this horizontal line here, like this. But here we don't have a line, so how we can do this? So we can click on this line, we can go here, and we can click on this point. And now we have those arrows. And now we can go to this arrow here. Let's click on this arrow. And now here we have 45 degrees. So we just edit this line here. Let's click OK. Now let's go to Smart Dimension again. Let's define this angle here. Between this line and this line here. 60 degrees. And OK. And now for example, we want to put this dimension, like here, 60 degrees. To do that, we can go here, right click, and we can go display options. So we can go here, vertically opposite angle, like this. And now we got this result. As well, we can go, right click, display options. We can go offset text. And now here, we have a text like this. And we can move this in position wherever we want. Let's go right click again. Let's go display options. We can go with show parentheses. Like this. Now let's go right click again. And display options. We can go explementary angle as well. And now we have an angle 300 degrees. From this line here. Horizontal to this line here. So those are some basic techniques how we can work with angular dimensions. And then in the next chapter, we are gonna show how we can create chamfer dimensions. So here, as we can see, we have a chamfer. And now we wanna put some dimensions here. So let's go here to Smart Dimension. Let's click on this arrow. And here we have chamfer dimension. Now nothing happens. And then we have to choose two lines. For example, if we choose this line here, and this line here, we got this, and this is not what we want. So let's escape, let's go again to chamfer dimension. Now if we click on this line here, and this line angular line, we got this result. And this is also not what we want. So let's escape again, let's go to chamfer again. Now let's choose this angular line here. And then let's choose this horizontal line. And now we got something like this. And this is what we want. Or there is a second way how we can do this. Let's escape. Let's delete this. And let's go here again to chamfer dimension. So let's click on the angular dimension. And now let's click on this vertical dimension. And we got the same result. So remember when we want to add chamfer dimension. First, we have to select angular dimension. And then, we have to select the horizontal or vertical dimension. Otherwise, it won't work correctly. And now here we have 2 multiplied by 45. We can click on this one. And we can change the order. We can go here with like this. 45 degrees multiplied by 2. But let's go with the first one. Distance angle, like this. And this is how we can define chamfer dimension. Thank you for watching, please subscribe if you like, I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.